Welcome to a new video and I hope you guys are all doing well. So I'm sure you can tell I will be doing another unboxing but the background is a little bit different because I'm actually in LA and I had all my packages shipped to LA since I'm going to be spending the next few months here and I still wanted to be able to do an unboxing for you guys. Let's get started because we have a lot to get through and I'm going to take this jacket off because it's going to be easier to open all these boxes without it on. packages I opened all together because they're all from Farfetch, which you guys know is one of my favorite places to shop online. They have so many cool emerging brands and designers. I also love how fast their shipping is. Even though items are coming from like Europe or Australia, I usually get it still in like two to three days. And I got quite a lot of things from them this time. A lot of Marine Saray. They're honestly one of my favorite brands right now. And this first piece is a top, and this top is called the Moonfish print. I guess it's supposed to kind of look like an aquatic animal, and it has this like really cool illusion with the print, so it kind of emphasizes like your waist to make it look smaller and your boobs to look bigger. The back looks like this. It has their classic logo with the half moon in red. And I also have these leggings, which go perfectly with the top. So you can wear it as like a set. I saw there's a jumpsuit version as well, but I thought it would be more fun to get the top and the pants so I could wear them separately or together. And it looks really cool when you wear the full look because you're like fully moonfish printed. I don't know if that makes any sense. It has the same print and it's just like really form fitting. I actually can't wait to try it on because I think it'll look so cool. And there's also a bag that kind of goes with the look that I also got from Farfetch. So it's this little blue one and it looks kind of like a I don't know, like a giant gumball. It got a little flat, so there. It has a, I think it has a chain. Oh yeah, here's the chain. So I just put on the chain and I don't see how you would carry this bag without the chain because it's literally just like a ball. I guess you could just hold it in your hands, but that would be kind of awkward. So this is like one of those bags where you definitely kind of have to use the chain. And the material is kind of like this rubbery and it's like squishy. It literally feels like kind of like a toy, but it's not. Um, and you can hold a lot of things inside because it's a pretty big size. It goes perfectly with this, uh, with this moonfish outfit. Next, we have these pants and it, they're from Marquise Almeida. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but you guys know that I'm not very good with pronunciations. So these pants are super cool because it has all sorts of different prints on it. You can tell that this leg it has like this black and orange floral print and this side is like different strips of other patterns. And the back looks like this. So I just thought they were so fun and I love pieces that are patchwork or have you know different colors and things that are a little bit different and it's actually it says it's remade Marquise Almeida. This one is made with natural fibers and organic fibers, recycled and upcycled materials. And the last thing I got from Farfetch is this cute little Telfar knit sweater. So if you remember in my previous video, I have the patchwork jeans where it's like denim and then the middle part is knit and then the bottom leg is leather. So this is like the same material as that middle knit portion. So I would definitely be wearing them together because it goes perfectly. I really love this brand Telfar, but they're not super popular. Like I haven't been able to find any of their items in store. I literally just browse their stuff 
on Farfetch, but I love how it's like this side has a bigger opening and then this is like a normal armhole opening and you can layer like a shirt or something underneath and I feel like there's so many different ways you could style it and it's also in a neutral color so you can't really go wrong with that. And one of the things that I love most about Farfetch is that they carry so many cool new emerging brands and designers and it's honestly the first place I go to to browse for things because I always come across cool new pieces and I do have a discount code for you guys that I will put here and down in the description box as well so you guys can use it to do some shopping if you'd like. So next we have this little silver crop top and the brand is called Andamain. I've honestly never heard of this brand before, but I just saw this little silver crop top and I thought it would be like a nice basic to have because sometimes you just need like simple pieces like this. And it does have padded shoulders, which is nice because it's like something a little bit different. And the next piece we have is this bodysuit from Muglare. And Muglare is one of my favorite brands right now. I am so obsessed with like everything that they're doing. This is like a really cute little black bodysuit that has a cutout at the waist. So it's off the shoulder and there's like this bandeau part that goes over it. And then the body part on the bottom is cut out. So it's like really cute if you just want to wear it alone or you could layer like a blazer or something over it. And I think it's just like a nice basic to have as well because black bodysuits kind of go with everything. And I also have these pair of shoes from Amina Muadi. And this is like one of my favorite silhouettes that Amina Muadi makes. It's called the Caroline Sandal. So you've probably seen me wear the black version and also the pink version. And this color I've never seen before, but it's a pistachio color. The material is also satin. This one doesn't actually have her flared heel. It doesn't really bother me that it doesn't have her flared heel, but that is her signature. I just thought this was like a really nice silhouette. I love how it's a pointed open toe because a lot of times open toe shoes are like square or something and I think a pointed one is so sleek. All right, moving on, we have two more pairs of shoes and these are both from Gian Vito Rossi. I actually don't have that many shoes from him. I don't know why, but I came across these two and I thought they would just be like nice shoes to have. So let me show you guys what is inside. So this is the first pair of Gianvito Rossi's and you can tell it's a similar silhouette to the Amina Muadi mule. I love the pointed open toe and this one has little silvered mirrored pieces on it. The heel is also higher which I like because sometimes I feel like Amina Muadi shoes, her heel is too low at least for me. I wish it was higher. And the second pair is this Plexi PVC material one. Now, here's the thing. This is actually my first ever pair of like PVC or Plexi material shoes. I don't know what you even call this, to be honest. The reason why I never got any shoes that are like this material until now is because I remember trying on a Louboutin at a store and I literally could not stand up in them because this part was cutting into my skin so much and it was just extremely, extremely painful. One of my friends told me that Gianvito Plexi PVC is more comfortable and soft and they definitely are so I'm willing to give it a try because I love how it gives that like barely there shoe effect. Like it almost looks like you're not wearing a shoe because it's clear. So it's the same silhouette as that silver one. I hope these won't be painful because, I mean, they're a shoe that would literally go with any outfit. So if you don't know what shoe to wear, this is the one that you would go for because it's clear. All right, we finished that first row and now we are moving on to 
The second one, let's see if I can move this over without it falling on me. So the next three packages are all from Chanel. Let's start with this one. This first piece is a super cute little Chanel dress and this dress is like young and fun so as soon as I saw it I knew I had to get it and it has these cute little charms on it. That's like the special touch that really makes this dress something different. They're all sorts of like different colors. So there's like a little blue one here, like a little pink one, and all throughout it has like the CC print with the pinstripes. And this dress comes in this black and white version, and then there's also white and black, but I thought the black and white one looked better. I'm super excited to wear it this summer because it's like the perfect summer dress, and it's finally getting really hot here in LA. This next Chanel piece is a black and gray printed logo skirt. It's really light and flowy and it actually has like a big slit that runs up the leg. I think it would be really nice with like a crop top or something. I'll definitely be wearing this dress and this skirt very soon so I cannot wait to style these. And the last thing is a pair of tights. Now these are just the classic black tights with the, the little CC's on it and I have them already but the reason I have another pair is because that other one got a little bit ripped so we have a second pair here. It's kind of difficult to see but I'm sure you guys have probably seen these tights because everyone was kind of wearing them. It's just like sheer black and it has these like little CC logos all throughout. There's also a white version, but I feel like white tights are like kind of cringy. I don't know. I just can't picture myself wearing white tights. They actually look good on some people, but I don't know if I would wear white tights. So I just got the black version and Chanel has been making some really cool tights. Like I got a crystal one that I've worn a few times and then they have some new ones coming out with this like recent collections, like a pink one with cutouts. I feel like Chanel started making more tights because they realized people are kind of into them and I'm definitely one of those people that's into them because I mean they're just really good nice layering pieces and if you want to add a touch of Chanel to your look then the tights are the perfect way to do it. The next piece we have are a pair of pants from a brand called High and Seo and it's one of my new favorite emerging brands and they're also Asian which is really cool. The back has a large cutout and there's also some little cutouts at the waist which I think is really interesting. I have this top from High and Seo which goes kind of perfectly with the pants and that's how I plan on styling it so it'll be like all black look and I usually don't wear all black because I think it's quite boring but I don't know I think this could be interesting so that package just had this shopping bag that's from Vestry Collective and it's for one of the projects that I'm doing with them it's just like a large tote made out of like sustainable materials Our last box from that row is from La Prairie and this is a gifting from the brand. They sent over I think their new product that they launched and it's this pure gold radiance concentrate. I am gonna have to like open this and see what it's all about. I just found this book that's also in the box and I think it explains what that product is all about but I'm not going to read it now because that's going to take too long and I will just look into that later. So this next box has several pieces from 
cool new brands that I ordered and I'm really excited to show you guys. This first piece is a giant oversized red shirt and the material is very very thick. I couldn't tell that it was going to be this thick online and it's padded inside almost like a down jacket. This jacket is definitely something that is like a statement because it's so big and oversized. I think I plan on wearing it with like some skinny leggings. I have these really cool crystal leggings from Area, so it'll be fun to style this one. This next piece is from a brand called Leo, and this brand made one of my favorite outfits that I've ever worn. It was that fire look. When the flash goes off or when there's light, it literally looks like you're on fire because of the fabric that they use. And I love brands that use like cool, innovative fabrics. So these pair of pants are actually kind of sheer and it has like a jean print on it. So it's really interesting. And it looks like you're wearing two jeans. And I also got the matching top so it could be like a full set. And I think it would be nice with like a white swimsuit bandeau and panties underneath because it's completely sheer so you definitely need to wear something underneath this piece and this is the matching top to those pants and i just think it would be so cool worn together because it's like a sheer denim outfit it's like a see-through jeans i don't know if that makes any sense but i'm really excited to wear this full look because i think it'll be so interesting and it's so different to anything that i've really ever seen before and next we have this little lavender crop top from the brand called Priscavera and I have the shiny green skirt from them and I thought this lavender top would go so nicely with the skirt because green and purple are always such a nice color combo. It has this tie detail here on the side so you can make it more cropped and ruched if you want to cinch it up like what I just did. You can kind of pull it and adjust it and it kind of becomes like a different top which I think is kind of fun how you can kind of play with it and if you want it to be longer you obviously just let the um, this adjusting part come down a little bit more this material is very delicate because it's like a lame and this kind of material snatches really easily so I just have to be like extra careful when I wear this top and the skirt all right this next piece is also from Leo and this is a pair of pants. It has this greenish black and white tie-dye all throughout. It almost looks like water stains and they have a slight flare to the bottom. The cool part about these pants are the swing hooks that go down the front and not only is it easy to take on and off but they look really cool and they kind of make the pants a little bit different and give it like a little unique twist. I would probably style this with something simple on the top because these pants are definitely more of a statement. This next piece is also from Leo and I'm sure you can tell I'm a fan of the brand because I've gotten several of their pieces already just in this package. This is a silver harness and I think it would just be nice layered over like a simple white shirt or even like a black cropped t-shirt like what I'm wearing right now. I actually don't have any body chains or harnesses so this is my first one. And last but not least from Leo we got this giant green crop embossed coat and this piece is so cool and it was probably the one that I was looking forward to the most when I was opening the box. I love the ombre print throughout. The color is also so unique. It's like an avocado green. I don't know exactly how to describe it but it's like the color of an avocado and it's so big and long and heavy it has their signature swing hook buckles which i really love it would just be a really nice coat for fall winter even though it's definitely too warm to be wearing this now i'm sure i will get a chance to wear it when the weather gets cooler later in the year So moving on, we have this package from La Manso, and they sent me some really cute, fun little rings. 
I have a few rings from them already and I reached out to the brand and they offered to send me a few more of their colorful rings because they're just so fun to wear. So let's see which ones we have. In this first little pouch, we have these two chunky rings that have cool little spikes on them. There's a clear one and also a white one. And I just love rings like this that are kind of playful. So I'll definitely be wearing these. This next box has several little rings inside. So I'm gonna put them all on and show you guys. They actually all go perfectly with my nails. So it'll be perfect for me to try them on. My left hand is fully decked out in La Manso rings and this first one is a neon green and it has gold embellishments. This one's like a white and it has like yellow and orange embellishments and we have a pink one. Then there's another ivory with like brown and gold and an ivory with a silver. And we have these red ones. This one is clear and this is like a solid. And last but not least, this gold orangey clear one with little glitter pieces and there's a light blue embellishment on the top. Like I was saying earlier, they go perfectly with the nails I currently have, so I'll definitely be wearing these in the next few days and taking lots of photos because it's like the same vibe and I'm just obsessed with this stack. This next package is from Balenciaga and I got a very fun little bag. The bag that I got from Balenciaga is this little crossbody and it's supposed to be like a sneaker, which I thought was really different and interesting. I feel like I keep using the same words to describe these items, like cool, interesting, different, unique, but that's honestly how I feel about them and I feel like I just need to like expand my vocabulary. I really love the black and white contrasts on this bag and I think it's such a cool and fun design, especially for people that love sneakers. This bag also came in a gray and blue, but I chose the white and black because I thought it would be easier to go with some of the looks that I plan to use this with. There's also some different silhouettes. I know they have the one with the little handle and there's also a bigger size, but I chose this small little one because you guys know I love my mini bags. That package has a pair of Louboutin shoes and this pair is a little more simple, kind of like the Giambitos and the Aminas. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the shoes that I've been getting recently are a little bit more plain just because I needed some more classics to go with outfits that are already such a statement. I realized the other day that I have so many cool and statement shoes that definitely turn heads but sometimes I just need like a good basic heel or sandal or pump to go with outfits or dresses that are already such a statement. So this is the Louboutin sandal and as I was saying, it's just like a nice, simple, basic sandal. It also came in black and white and red, I believe, but I chose the nude because the purpose of me buying this was to have it be very versatile and go with many outfits. And here we have this little white crop top from Sammy Miro Vintage. It's actually the exact same top that I'm wearing right now, the black one, but this is the white version. I just loved this asymmetrical silhouette and with the ribbed details and how it has kind of a deconstructed look to it. So I decided to get the white color as well. I hope she makes some other colors because it's so soft, so comfortable, and it's just a nice versatile piece to wear with denim or shorts, skirts, honestly, anything. And now I have the little white one. This next package is a gifting from Norma Elliott and the brand makes a lot of swimwear so I selected some of my favorites and the first one is this black and gold kind of cover up. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because I can see my camera battery is starting to die and I already switched it so this is my second battery and we need to get through the rest of these before this one dies as well. 
but this is a black and gold cover-up like I said and we have a matching little bag there's also this black bikini that I would be wearing underneath that cover up and this piece is an orangey gold colored sarong and shirt so you would wear it over your swimsuit as well and these are the last two pieces this is a one piece and we also have a bikini here they are the same colorway but it's such a pretty blue and it fades to like a green there's also a body chain that they put in here and I don't have any body chains for swimming so I think it would be really cool and really fun to like add a chain to you know give your swim look something a little different so that's everything from norma Elliott. it's honestly the perfect time to be receiving all this swim stuff because we're finally in summer and the weather is nice and hot and perfect for swimming In this little box, we have another Mugler bodysuit, and as I said earlier, I've been really into Mugler, especially their bodysuits. So I got this black one, and it's really difficult for you guys to see what it kind of looks like without me wearing it. You could wear it alone, or it would be really nice with a blazer layered over as well. Our third to last package is from Heliot Emil, and I got two pieces from them. Kelia Emil is another one of my favorite new brands that I've discovered and this is a white tank top that has some cutouts throughout. It's asymmetrical and twisted and has cutouts all at the same time so it's kind of a lot. This top is simple but not at the same time because of all the cutouts. I just thought it was quite unique and I love how it's casual because you can just pair it with some jeans and it's cool because it has like all these interesting cutouts. The other piece that I got from Helios Emil are the boots and I've been eyeing these boots on their Instagram for so long but they weren't released yet. They were just showing a lot of their models wearing them with their clothes and finally they came out and they were available so I had to order them. I am so obsessed with this metal heel. It looks very architectural. This is just such an edgy and fun boot and I don't have anything like this. I do have some shoes that have like interesting heels, but this is like a really nice one to just wear with like an all black leather look or something. And I'm obsessed with the heel. That's the main reason I got it. I also like how the front has like a metal toe. I can't wait to wear them because I think they're just incredible. This is our second to last package and I have some very cool vintage pieces in here because it's from a shop in New York City that I always order my vintage from. First we have this Fendi Zuka logo print dress and the material is like that soft terry. This is vintage Fendi of course and it just has the print all over. This dress is honestly nothing special because it just has the Fendi logo print all throughout but I got it anyways because I thought it would be a nice summer dress and the terry material is just so soft and comfortable and I think it would be good to wear by the beach or when you're just grabbing lunch or just something casual. This second piece is the one I've been waiting for and I am so excited to show you guys this beautiful vintage Dior hardcore saddlebag. If you saw my other video, you know I have the matching skirt that I actually found on Farfetch. It came from the boutique called Amor, which is a vintage shop in Tokyo. And I was looking for the bag, never really found it. I did find one, but it wasn't in the best condition. And this one looked like it was in very good vintage condition. So I got it and I'm really happy with how it looks. Of course, it's not perfect because it's vintage. I just love the chains and all the hardware that's on it. The back just has the print and the front has like the little metal piercing details throughout. And of course it has the CD on the side, like all the saddlebags. But it's super cute and now I have the bag to match the skirt 
And I think I'll be wearing this skirt with probably this like Sammy Miro crop top or the white one. It just needs something simple. And then I'll carry the bag and I have the skirt. So it'll be such a cute little vintage Dior moment. And that last big box is a gifting from a brand called Naked Wolf and they make some cool shoes. So I selected two of my favorites. The first shoe is this super tall platform sandal and it's so soft and fluffy. It has their logo in the front, which is a silver wolf. And there's also in the back as well. I don't have anything like this. This shoe would definitely give me an extra like six inches probably. And our second shoe is this chunky platform boot. As you can tell, this brand is kind of known for doing chunky and platform shoes with a lot of height because that one was super chunky and this one is as well. This is like a vegan leather boot. This looks like it would fit really nicely around the leg and I also don't have anything like this because I don't have a lot of big platform shoes in general. That is going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing another one of my unboxings and don't forget that I have the Farfetch discount code for you guys that I'm going to put here and down below in the description box if you want to use it to do some shopping. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you in the next video. Bye!